So you spent your life, you're always thinking, oh, how do I impress everybody? I just wanna make sure everybody's happy. Oh, but what if he thinks this? What if she thinks that? I used to live my life like this on a daily basis. Especially in high school, your goal, no matter what you say, is to make everybody like you. Your goal is always to impress other people and get the nicest sneakers and have the coolest life and then post the coolest things on social media, like if you're a celebrity or something. Play all the sports and be the best in each sport because you want to have that social status, right? Here's the truth. Nobody cares nor remembers anything I did in high school. I don't speak to 95 to 95 to 99 percent of them I don't speak to anymore as well. And half of them probably don't even remember my name in this video i'm going to tell you guys the simple secret to not care what anybody thinks about you i'm going to tell you guys some tips to help me get over that and what to do to strive better in the future in terms of looking for like other validation without further ado let's get right into the video so the first thing is you just have to recognize that it's impossible to please everybody no matter what you're always going to be the villain in somebody's story and there's always going to be somebody who disagrees with you or doesn't like your point of view. This is just human nature and people will disagree with you, people will not like you, and there's nothing you can really do about it. You will not be able to impress everybody and that's just the simple fact. You have to accept that you can't control what others think about you. Like, let's say for example, you're nice to everybody. Some person might look at you and be like, oh, he's just being nice for the clout or he's just being nice, but it's fake. Even though you might, your, your intentions might be genuine, your intentions might be true, but there's always gonna be somebody that thinks you're not being genuine or, hey, he's he thinks he's hot stuff, why is he being nice to me? Listen, you're not going to be able to please everybody and before you anything, you have to accept that fact. The second thing is that you have to focus on your own goals and your own values. When you die, nobody else is coming with you in their grave. When you're on your deathbed, you have to remember, hey, did I live a fulfilling life? Did I did I tackle everything I wanted to do? You have to focus on what matters to you. Because if you're constantly thinking of what other people have to have to judge you on, what other people think about you, you're going to be living a lie. You're not gonna be living a truthful life because you're always gonna be working and, and living your life on other people's needs and desires. Once you start focusing on your own values and your own goals, you're gonna be not, first of all, you're going to be achieving things through the roof like a linear line because now you're focused on yourself you're not listening to the outside noise and second of all you're just going to be more happier in life because you're doing what you love you're doing what you care about and you're doing what you want to do the most never ever care about what other people think especially for people that aren't in the position that you want to be in why are you trying to impress the random friend in the hood that plays basketball every day and like does drugs and stuff like you need to be impressing yourself. Oh crap, I did this. And that comes with the next thing, which is to develop self-confidence. You need to be confident in your actions. You, have, you need to be confident in your thoughts. Building self-confidence is just gonna help you feel more secure in yourself. And it's gonna have you, your insecurities are basically going to go away. Not all of them, but most of them will go away. Because insecurities are made based on other people's opinions. Somebody might say something to you and boom, now you can't stop thinking about it. But if you have confidence in yourself, and you're secure within yourself, those things aren't going to feel like they matter as much. If you if you make it easier to ignore negative opinions from others, it's going to be easier on yourself, on your mental health, on your life, everything. You have to practice self-care, practice surrounding yourself around positive-minded people, and make sure not to, to listen to any of the noise outside. You got this, you're the confident one, and as long as you're doing what you wanna do and what you're striving to do, it doesn't matter what anybody else has to think about you. And then to make sure you challenge negative self-talk. If you're constantly talking bad about yourself as well, you might be your own enemy. You might be the only culprit in your own game. Remember that it's you versus you most of the time, and sometimes you might lose to yourself if that makes sense. Negative self-talk is going to, it's like one of the worst things that I used to do personally, and it used to really mess with my mental because not even I was on my side. You need to go into challenges with the thought that, hey, I can do this. And if you fail, you look at it as an opportunity. Develop a growth mindset and be like, all right, what can I do to execute better the next time? But yeah, guys, those are the little tips I have in terms of just learning self-confidence and learning to not care what anybody else thinks. Make sure you don't listen to the outside noise. Just listen to yourself because you got this and you're the only one that's on your side. But yeah, guys, if you guys like, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.